like the look of this. It's oh, it's fish hell. I knew it. I knew. I knew it. I knew fish hell was gonna be red. I just knew it. Something told me it was gonna be bad. Oh great! Oh, at least we get a Gur song. Silver linings. Nothing back there. God. I hate it already. <laughs> I'm going to need more coffee for this. I'm already confused. to hit that fish and then get to the right before it explodes. Like that. What's that diamond for? Is that a troll or what? Why that's there. Actually, I actually got the timing down for that part way faster than I thought I would. Okay, something doesn't feel right. I'm overshooting that diamond and dying on the spikes. Do I have to bounce on him twice? Okay, I think I need to let go of jump there. I have to jump off the fish, let go of jump, jump off the fish again, grab the diamond, double back, and then get the boost off the fish too. Which would mean doubling back a third time. Yep. And right after that I have to double hit that fish.
the... I guess I have to diagonal down into him? Let's go. So glad I hit those wall kicks first try. Oh great. A moving block that I probably have to kick the fish in front of. Spike there that's like blinking was throwing me off. I thought it was a platform. Am I supposed to? I'm probably supposed to grab that block. Why else would it be there? Celeste hoops all bank. That's right. Uh, we have five levels left. Two of which are the hardest in the mod. This being one of the ones that I was worried about going into it. When we finish this one, we'll be in good... this, the fish ends up in no man's land. Okay, that's it. I have to position it so that the fish gets pushed up slightly and then I have to knock it back down myself, which gives me another dash, which allows me to grab the double dash a second time. Understand. Now we're talking. Yeah, I gotta go way slower. I have to get down there and grab that wall. Oh man. Diagonal through that little tiny gap. Nah, I don't have to diagonal. I could I could grab the wall and then dash up right up. Oh god. What 
is this? Fish ends up there? <laughs> I don't even understand what I'm looking at. It seems like I have to get up here fast enough to hit this button to open the door so the fish can get through. But how does the fish even get there? I don't understand how the fish gets to that spring. God, this section is torture. Like, look at this spring. Look at it. Could that be any more covered? The answer is no. I didn't even realize. <laughs> right after that, you have to do a diagonal. I've seen my fair share of masochists, but I feel like we're crossing a line here. What in... I mean, I can't do it any faster, because I have to wait for that diamond to appear anyway. Okay, I see. I see. You, know, you dash into the wall, it just breaks. You don't have to grab it. I don't... Am I... supposed to walk it here or grab the wall so I dash it pops me up I dash and then I think I wall kick off this up to here and then I still have a dash so I think I can dash into the button no idea how the rest of that works though but it's such an awkward angle. Dude, I can't get this wall kick. If you're supposed to wall kick this, then it's like a two pixel kick because the spikes extend right to where the wall is. That's what you're supposed to do, that's brutal. I think maybe you're supposed to just dash up and grab the wall and then dash and grab this wall and then hit the fish which gets you an extra jump. Easy. Yes. 
so if I, if I can do the late wall kick, if I can do the late wall kick, land there, and I just need a, a, a visual cue to let go of the wall. I don't mind it once I get a visual cue, but I have to do this a thousand times to get to my visual cue. What? Oh, I, oh. That is unreal. That is unreal. I gotta be, man, I gotta be holding jump when I hit the fish too, so I get enough height. Or no, maybe not. Maybe I just grab the wall and then climb up a bit. But I still call them salads. Probably always do. Just grab the wall. Just grab the wall, man. Whee! Okay, I made progress. How's it going, Ashgar? Now what? How do I... I can't make that with just a dash. I'm gonna have to... Hit the fish, let him jump, let him go up, and then boost off of him, I guess. I had a lot of older people in my college courses. Some of which I was like, good for you, and others I was like, what are you doing here? like I think I just need to hold X so I get enough height to grab the wall and then I can line up the dash that's my guess all the Chick-fil-A's like around are being remodeled I, th I think they're all being remodeled at the same time or at least a lot of them do this. Maybe I have to dash up and then like jump into the gap? I don't know. That's my only guess. How do you do this? Like, do I hit the fish and then just... I don't think that would work. I don't think you have enough time. Oh, you do. You do. Just hold right. That's, that's totally how it's done.
Bro, I got played. Did you see that? The fish was too far right. No. If you don't hit that button before the fish starts bouncing off the wall, there's a chance it'll be in the wrong spot. Because depending on when you open the door versus when the fish is bouncing, it could get an incomplete bounce. off the block maybe probably have to not hold X there Absolute perfect trajectory. I think I have to land on the fish, and then I have to go through the spikes, grab that drop right up. Wall kick, grab that, jump over.
jump is impossible. I can't hit this fresh. I'm gonna try to focus on dashing earlier to the right. Doing the first part of this room over and over again with no improvement. There we go. Finally. I did it wrong. Just a dash to the left. Did I overcomplicate the heck out of most things? I'm out here drawing diagrams and people are like, you just go right! Go right. There's a sign that says go right. You just go right. I'm sitting here with like the philosophy right. Right is wrong. Do we do two rights to make a wrong? Is being right right? I mean, what is right really? Like who decides who's right? Dang, how do you grab this and not get pushed? I grab the block and it pushes me to the right and then my lineup is wrong. Maybe I should like wait to grab the wall until I'm at the lower end of it. Instead of grabbing it right away. I don't know, this wall kick is weird dude. I don't get it. Now what? <laughs> what do I do once the once he gets there? Oh, I see. Like I said, 80% of the people that bought the Switch did not even think about the purchase. Like the Nintendo console. Where's my wallet? No, that was it, and I dashed the wrong way. I seriously have never had as much fun playing a game co op than I had with Overcooked. No. And uh, the robot is basically a worse version of Mel. So like, why is he there? No. I'm so glad I'm back. Mongo? That's an idea, yeah. Unbelievable. All that, and then I can't get my thumb up to... Uh... I mean, that would be a dream. That would be a dream for me, honestly. I'd be helping people out on a grand scale. I'd be paying people. Like, I could have a real roster of people that I'm paying. Let's go. We did it, finally. Theo's here. I give up. Yeah, so I don't know why Theo is here, but... Like, no.
guessing I throw him, wave, dash. Throw. Do I throw? Do I not throw? Gonna get stuck right there. Oh, may oh, maybe I see out. Oh, I understand. I have to do that, but hit the fish. But yeah, this would be a cool screen to see the inputs because there's like a thousand. That worked. Why is the fish not making it? I don't understand this fish. This fish only makes it to there. Why? Oh, no. I have to, I have to dash down into that fish. How am I supposed to hit this fish, throw Theo, and dash into the fish all at the same time? Man, I can't... <laughs> For some reason, I keep dropping Theo. I don't know why. I'm holding right... Why isn't it throwing him? Oh my god, that was so close. There it is. Okay. Now, is Theo high enough to throw into the next button? Kind of need to throw him like right away, and then super, and then grab Theo and hit the fish. And then what you do after that is question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. I like I've never seen this much micromanagement. Okay, that was it. Now what? Do I hit? Do I do what I just did? Hit the fish and then like double Theo jump? I'm gonna get in the fight. I think you throw. I think you grab that. Maybe grab that diamond. Throw Theo and then super off the fish. What? I went, what? I went too fast? I landed like in front of the fish. Are you kidding me? Yes, it's what to do afterwards for a while. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. It seems like I'm supposed to Theo jump through the diamond and then throw Theo in, in super. But I don't know, maybe my original idea of like blowing up the fish and then double, double Theo jumping past would work? I don't know. No middle ground. Okay, I just needed to throw I just need to throw Theo a bit earlier there, and it could have worked. I, I like this plan. I feel like it's going to work. Height. Alright, we 
made it to the fish. I don't know why I died to the top. I don't know, like, am I supposed to not hold jump, maybe? I don't know, actually. It's hard to tell. Also a lot of memes, but the memes wouldn't come into play in a golden run because you would know they're coming. But there's like some meme in final rooms. Dang, I can't grab Theo. Ah, okay. I finally got it, and I panicked. Let's freaking go! We did it! Eight minutes left on the clock! What is this garbage? Just give me the heart! So dark. Ow. <laughs> Have to throw Theo away like a Yoshi. Let's freaking go. Did the last part first try. Eight minutes left on the clock. We did it. That's it. I've come up with a new recipe. Freaking did it. Yes. I don't have to return to this level next week. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, think of the 115. Holy. Oh my god. Ah! Woo! Six and a half hours. Let's go. One hundred percent berries. Let's go. Zero out of zero. RJP, they give the gift and sub to Strongbow. Oh, man. What difficulty is Forest? Out of curiosity, I haven't seen it yet. Two. 
So we got puzzle level, easier level, and then two giant yikes. And then heart side. We're done. Woo! I'm so glad that's over. Holy cow. That was wild. I got through the first two rooms, or the first three rooms, in like an hour. Like, it, it was all that last room. And it was all that one jump of that last room. Like, holy cow. That was like five hours of doing that one jump. Well, maybe more like three, because there was that one other, that was, there was that other room that I was stuck in for a while. Holy cow. I don't know. That one should have been five hours. I feel like I spent so much time in that one room that I had solved in like ten minutes and I just couldn't put it all together. I also took a lunch break during that, so we talked about the Steam Deck for like 30 minutes. So. I'm just so glad. So glad I don't have to go back to that room next week. If I had to start next week with that room, it would have sucked. Now I can start next week with the two easier maps. 